All right, y'all. Welcome back again to another edition of our Right Nerdy Gaming, playing more of Half-Life Blue Shift. Uh, we have just had our first uh, encounter with the Marine Cleanup Team, unfortunately. And I don't think they're going to be as friendly as Corporal Shepard was to the Black Mesa crew. He had a... He and his squad had a bit of a unique experience, and uh, looks like these guys might still be a bit jaded. So we're gonna we're gonna arm up with the old Spaz Twelve before we go topside here and see what the dealio is. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. There's guys back there. All right. Well, that hurt. Wonder if I can. Uh, Sure it can. Might just be able to bypass our way through, but uh, I'm kind of curious. Because, uh... Oh, they're turrets. I don't actually know if I can destroy them with just, uh... I don't think I can. We're going to try just a uh, complete end run, just on the uh, off chance. Hello. Oh, they can shoot me through there. That's not good. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, man, this might be worth it. This might be worth it, man. Get some satchel charges. Oof. We got ten grenades. Yep. Worth it. Okay. Well. Still hear a lot of weapon noise. Nope, not grenades. There we go. Let's make our way up the tunnel. Oh. Buddy. Oh, but he had... Ah, see, now we get the mag... Or not... Uh, yeah, the Magnum. The 350, 357 Magnum. I believe it's modeled after a Colt Python, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. We'll be cool. I really shouldn't have used the, uh... Shouldn't have used the Magnum for that, but I wanted it to look cool. This guy's blinkers on. Not a good sign. Okay. Quick save. Shotgun. I want to peek around this... What the hell? There it is. Okay, I want to peek around this corner. Oh! Oh, shit. That hurt. Okay, well, the Marines do not like me. That's too bad. Oh, fuck me. That that scared the shit out of me. Whew. Whew. That was a waste of some shotgun shells. There we go. Calmly take him out. Probably going to have to go that way. Oh, did... Oh, I, I killed that guy by stepping on him. All right, well, uh, let's, let's just make sure we can't... Nope, we can't. Uh, and... Should probably turn off our flashlight. Oh yeah, there it is up in the upper right hand corner. As I learned last time, the flashlights do have batteries. Okay. Crunching on the cockroaches. High temperature steam pipes. Let's not rupture those if we can help it. Uh, you missed. 
Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Oh, you still got me. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> so there I go again, getting cocky again. And then I get ambushed by something. Okay, so the cockroaches are fine, but I will not be if I go through that. I wonder... Oh, well, I just... Oh, no, that was the... I wonder if I can rupture them back here. Where's the... Oh, that's the... This is the pressure release valve. I got you. My guess would be maybe blowing out the steam pipe back here. Maybe not. All right. Let's see how bad it is. Well, not the end of the world. Oh, my God. Oh, it's literally right there. Okay, that helped. All right, that helped. Did hurt, though. Okay, we got lots of exposed cracking here. That looks like water. I don't seem to be taking damage. Now, that is close. Oh, wait a minute. I bet we're not going to be able to... Maybe we can. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought for a second we weren't going to be able to uh, open up the pressure door. Yeah, well, that wasn't great, but it, was, it, it worked. Got him that time. Oh, shit. Much better. Okay. We're going to be careful. I don't want to accidentally hit those, but I think we're okay. All right. Nope, wrong button. There we go. Don't worry, Barney. We're going to make it out of this. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Ah, no ammo. You missed me. Oh, well, you hit me that time. Might ought to just keep the Beretta out for a while and st Oh, and as soon as I say that, I want the shotgun. I 
I will say that double shot does work pretty darn good. But I am burning through my shotgun ammo pretty quickly. Oh, dear God. I did not mean to do that. Oh, wow. I wonder why that didn't blow up the other thing. Well, that burned a satchel charge, which sucks, but again, I'm not going to reload for every stupid mistake because then I'll be I'll be here for ages. But I will do this. Okay. Oh hell. There we go. Oh, hell. All right, that's better. Nice. Okay. It's it's a just an absolute Oh for fuck's sake. Well, this is a right shit show, isn't it? Okay. Weapons check. Let's top off the mag here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, magnum reloaded. Okay, we're all set there. We only have eight rounds left for that. Let's load the last two of our 12-gauge rounds in there. Okay. There we go. Back to the Breta. All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Huh, it didn't blow open that grating. Well, that's too bad. Um... Oh, nice. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, I was hoping we weren't going to have to um, do a jumping puzzle through that electricity, but we might have to. I was thinking there might be a... Oh, uh, there might be a pattern to it. Oh, it looks like there is. I wonder if electricity's going to get that guy. Really? Okay. Well, that wasn't bad, actually. Just bravely ran through it. Pulled that second shot. Oh, shoot. Oh, it interrupted my... Oh, that was weird. I think it interrupted my loading sequence, but I actually had a... Well. Really? You 
couldn't have, you couldn't have come in just a second earlier. Okay. So I'm about to say for this, I might not want to blow up everything. Just most things. Now they were smart. They knew that I was going to do that, so we will push these guys forward. Well, try to anyway. There we go. There we go. Come on. Turn off the old flashlight there. Um, I think I'll move you over to this side. I'm trying to get up this air vent, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. Okay. It's all right, Barney. Just hold it together. We're going to get out of Black Mesa. Going to get out of Black Mesa. You're going to have a nice, happy retirement, you know. Of course, until the aliens come and take over the Earth, but that that's fine. That's tomorrow's problem. It's not, not a today problem. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Come on. There we go. There we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Ah. Uh, wait, what? How? I didn't, didn't I have the bread out? Doesn't matter. Happy I had this one out. Okay. Yep. Nice. Right through the grate. Okay. Practice reloads in the dark. <laughs> All right, not bad. This is definitely a lot scarier having to use the flashlight. Oh, you ass. Oh, hello. It's a lot scarier having to use the flashlight than the nods. Kind of funny. I miss I miss my marine gear. They did mention Corporal Shepard. As I recall, um Gearbox made Op 4 first and then um Blue Shift, which is part of why I'm playing him in this order. So I'm curious if there'll be more references to Op 4. It would really be neat if we saw a cameo of Corporal Shepard just booking it. Oh dear. That's too bad, but at least we have 100 health now. What are these? I'm pretty sure they're cogs and not... Okay. From a brief minute, I thought they were landmines. They're just metal cogs. Oh, this is the other side of that barricade. I gotcha. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. All right. Ready? Ready? Spass 12 up close. Oh, shit. It auto-switched me to an M4, and I just danger closed with a 40 mic mic. Or, sorry, the Colt Model 727. <laughs> oh, which, as we learned in uh, Op 4, uh, in real life, there's a fuse on the 40 millimeter grenades uh, used in the M203, so that you can't do exactly what I did right there, because uh, the explosion would have killed me. Uh, and so there's a little fuse on them that prevents them from uh, firing at too close of a range. But in this game, there is not. Uh, and also, the Colt Model 727 is full auto only. I don't have a semi-automatic mode in this one. Uh, oh, but does it have the right magazine now? Nope, still has a 50-round mag. <laughs> Reason for that is because if we go back and play... I actually don't remember what Black Mesa does. I hope they keep it true to the original. Uh, but if we go back and play uh, Half-Life... I appreciate your help, but I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. <laughs> Damn. If trying to reach the freight yards in hope of escaping, then just forget about it. The military is rounding up everyone and 
everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me. If you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <coughs> if you can get past the soldiers, find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place. Okay, Dr. Rosenberg. Got another health kit. All right, rock and roll. What was I saying? I was saying something about the... Oh, yeah, in the original version of Half-Life, uh, you don't get an M4. You get an MP5, uh, which does have a 50-round stick mag. Is one of the more common configurations. Chambered in 9 by 19 Parabellum. But instead, we got the Colt Model 727 in 5.56mm NATO. I don't remember the length on that. 5.56 by 45? Is that right? Might be right. Anyhow, I have a lot of rounds for it, so I'm going to make good use of this thing, because if I come up against the Marines, we're going to need to shoot and scoot. If I come up against Special Forces again... Oh, I hear... Okay. Interesting. We still got more ways to go. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay. Uh, I know that's an option. I want to see... Locked. Oh shit! Switch the ah, uh, switch the spaz. Yep, beat him at his own game. Oh shit. Yeah. Fuck. I keep getting caught in the doors. Oh man, this is the thing where they're Uh I really I really miss having the Marines as good guys. He's coming back down. I'm gonna catch him when he comes down. Alright, I don't know if there's any more up here. Uh let's clear the back country just in case. Okay, that's locked. So they were just securing these upper floors. Okay. We burned a lot of armor in that engagement. And, you know, I was worried about picking up that health pack too early, and here I've done it. I walked by it too soon. Oh, I got another first aid kit. Oh, another first aid kit. All right. All right. Another man alive. We're just having an embarrassment of riches here. Come on. There we go. Come on. Uh, I might be making too much noise. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Because there's guys out there. Still only got the 140 mic mic, so I'm going to... Shit, man. Poof! Trading them. Oh, damn, there's more of them over there. Shit, I'm in a bad spot. Bad spot, bad spot, bad spot, bad spot. Okay. Oh, I think I made him shoot too close to his comrade with that one. Oh, dear God.
He is suppressing that door. Let's see if we can get a snapshot off at him. Shit! Oh my gosh, there's another guy up there. All right. Yep, yeah, I see you. I see you. May have cleared him with that. Nineteen health left. Jeez. All right, but I got an extra... Man, the soundscape on this is good. Can I open this? Probably. But I bet I can get up there, too. Which I'm tempted by. So let's try for that real quick. Oh, I can get up here. Look at that. Oof. Well, not great. Not great. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, nice. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's good. You don't have any armor, do you? Wait for him to come through. Okay, well, that was bad. Oh, there's a lot of these dudes. Crap. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> what What's fun is the... I think more so than the special forces, um, the black ops mobs, rather, the the Marines will work in tangent together, which is why Op 4 is fun, because when you have them on your side, that's awesome. When you don't, it gets gnarly real quick. Whew, let's try that again. Oh, there's that. See, um, why do I have that quick save glitch? That's so weird. So I only have 34 health. I don't know if it's worth engaging these guys. We're going to try it anyway. Oh, I have my chance there. Well, I winged him. Oh. Yeah, okay. They got they definitely got body armor. I hope that's not a... It was a live grenade. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I looked down, I was like, is that a live grenade? Yep, it was. Let's see. What else do I have?
Ah, oh, shit. Oh, there's another one. Good night. There's a lot. There's a lot of dudes in there, and I do not have a lot of health. Okay, so luring them back in here does not do me too much good because I don't have any more health packs or anything. So let's see here. What if I do this? Okay. Oh, that was close. Okay. Oh shit, I think somebody had an accident with a 40 mic mic. Okay, well, we'll call that one a draw, because I think I cleared that uh, by, uh, by the enemy making an accident. But, you know, if I can find... Oh, I got satchel charges, I got more grenades... Heck yeah, oh, med pack, thank goodness. If I pick up some med packs and some ammo from this before carrying on with my mission, I'll be very happy. So this is a train depot. So kind of, it's weird. It's like, like in the other one, I'm actually, oh, oh my God. I can turn on the light switch. Is there? Oh, wow. I did not know I could just step on these because they're cardboard boxes. That's amazing. <laughs> what great game design. I, I love that. Yeah, okay, so this was... Ooh. Yeah, we're just gonna... Not gonna come back in this room. Okay, so now the question is... I thought I just heard something. Help! Someone let us out of here! Huh. Help! Someone let us out of here! How do I rescue them? How do I get you out of there? Did I miss someone having a key? Got max ammo on the M4. Amazing. There's no way, right? How can I get in here? How can I get in here? Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh, whoa. Okay. Rescued at last. Thank God you're here. No, I'm afraid I'm not Dr. Rosenberg. Oh. Fine. You won't even know I'm here. About to say, come with me if you want to stay alive. Well. And wait for my colleagues. Okay. You can't go across that. Gotcha. Nice. So all that was a little bit of a red herring, but... Oh, hello. There was armor in here the entire... And magnum bullets. Oh, my gosh. And... Oh, my gosh. That's why it's always worth to take a second look. Oh, man. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So that was a little bit of a red herring. But... We did get a lot of ammo for it, even if it took a couple of attempts. Uh, so yeah, I think where we have to go next is going to be through this door. And actually, I think that's a great spot to stop for this episode. So we've gotten some weapons upgrades. We have our Cult Model 727. We have our SPAS-12. We have our Beretta 93, I think it is, because I think it's the fully automatic version. We have our Cult Python 44 Magnum. I think I said 357. I forget. It's either 357 or 44 Magnum. I forget. It, it kicks like a mule, so I'd expect it to be a 44 Mag. Um, we got a crowbar, so that's good. We've got uh, Mark II fragmentation grenades, and we got some satchel chargers. So you know, all in all, we're armed up. We've made it to the surface. Now we just got to get out of here. But I'm assuming shenanigans are going to happen, and we're going to wind up back inside the Black Mesa facility. But you never know, because this one's, like I say, brand new to me. So uh, make sure that you uh, like and comment on the video uh, and subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you see when we drop more episodes of Half-Life Blue Shift. While you're here on YouTube, don't forget to check out our other gaming channels and the backlog of our podcast VODs, uh, which, by the way, the podcast is on hiatus until February 5th of 2023. We're on our winter break, but uh, we'll be back for Season 8, so make sure you stay tuned. And, of course, when we are back, we'll be streaming over at twitch.tv slash writeandnerdy. Go ahead and make sure you give that channel a subscribe, too, because you never know. I might even play some ad hoc gaming streams over this holiday season. Uh, we'll just have to see. So anyhow, make sure you do that. Also, check out our website over at www.writeandnerdy.com. That's www.writeandnerdy.com, writeandnerdy.com. If you go over there, you can drop us a line and also find links to our socials and join our Discord. We'd love to chat with you. And y'all, until next time, when we explore deeper into Black Mesa and hopefully get ourselves out relatively unscathed, y'all take care, stay safe, don't have too much fun without us. Adios, y'all.